Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike with Alpha Reptiles and today I'm back at you with another reptile room tour for March. Uh, today is just going to be probably a relatively short reptile room tour because not a ton has changed. Uh, I'm supposed to be getting a bunch of new animals. Well, now it's actually been pushed back a little bit, so it could be uh, summertime hopefully April, and I might be able to make like a more cinematic kind of tour in April. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. And if you're interested in purchasing the shirt that I'm currently wearing, this Europlatus shirt, uh, you guys can actually get it from a, a link called teespring.com. It is in the description under the merch tab, so you guys can go check that out if you're interested in buying uh, this shirt or any of the other ones that I have on there. So. That helps me out a ton if you guys would do that. That's awesome. If not, you guys can enjoy the rest of the reptile room tour and why don't we get started? Because he's out right now, we're actually going to start with Dixon, the Europlatus Gumtheri. You can see his tank here. It is a 12 by 12 by 18 Zoomed enclosure. I can't say I love the Zoomed enclosures, but this is just the extra one that I had. So this is where he went. And I think it looks pretty awesome. It's all living plants. There's some bamboo. And you can actually see Dixon right back there. Uh, unfortunately, you can't see his face, but you can see his body. He's just hanging out right now. I finally got the humidity down in this tank. Um, it would always dry out really fast. But what I ended up doing is taking off the UVB bulb uh, because it doesn't fit between my roof and the tank. And then what I did was actually just tape the top with black duct tape. Um, so there is still some circulation around the light that is currently up there. So it's not like a completely closed, stagnant, gross enclosure, but it actually works super, super well for uh, for what he does. So there you go. You guys can see him in there. He's awesome. Hopefully sometime this summer I will be able to get some uh, babies and or juveniles, maybe a female if I'm lucky from the uh, Hamburg Reptile Expo in Germany and uh, start these guys on their way to captive breeding in Canada. Next up, we would do Striker, but I'm not gonna spend too much time on him because you guys will be getting an update probably by next month. Uh, unfortunately, this week is absolutely bananas for me. I have three midterms and a paper due, so I will not get to setting up his cage now, but I do now have all the parts for it. I have the rocks, I have the substrate, I have the plants, uh, the lights and everything. It's all ready to go. So all it is right now is just a matter of time for me to set aside the time and uh, film, edit, upload, and actually do his new enclosure. So that's Striker. he's the OG, um, still currently in his old setup. Now we can move to Sky. Sky is the Miraki Blue Tongue Skink, Maruki. I don't know exactly, but uh, he's doing really, really well. His tank is a little bit dry right now, but the humidity is still about 60%, so <laughs> I can't complain. Uh, I know he likes it, and he's doing really, really well. He shed once in this tank already, and I, I mean, it went flawlessly, so clearly the humidity uh, was a huge factor. I know he's an Indonesian blue tongue skink, and uh, they need high humidity. Unfortunately, in the last cage, I was not able to provide that. So in this cage, it is actually a lot better. The only problem is I need to get this redone because this door is, it might honestly be stuck shut right now. <laughs> oh, no, we got it. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that door is a real big pain to get open. And uh, I need that fixed for when I go on my trip this summer. You can just see how majestic they are though. That nice blue tongue, he's got UVB, um, he's being fed dog food and homebrew, uh, which is a term I stole from TC Houston. Basically what homebrew is is just the homemade stuff that I have a couple videos on my channel of, and then I also feed him some dog food. But he's doing really well. His tank looks good. Even in this next tank though, what I want to do um, because I'm hoping it'll still get built. I actually need to touch base with my buddy. I want to add some rocks and stuff in there as well. Um, maybe some larger stones. Uh, just like variable habitat for him. I think that would look really, really nice. The cork bark does look okay. But again, I think it would just look better with more varied habitat. Continuing with the majestic wood theme, we actually do have 
Bowser. Um, unfortunately, if you guys haven't seen the video, most of you probably have, there'll be a link up there for you guys to click it. But many months ago, Stella actually passed away. Um, I found her dead in her cage, well, in their cage. And uh, yeah, I was crushed, honestly. Bowser's still doing really well. He's still a super chill guy. Now that I've moved him into this new cage and he's got the Dragon 14 UVB, he has just sprouted in color. Um, he used to be like a drab yellow and now he's a bright red. So he's doing really well. He's eating. He does have still some stuff like what Stella had, uh, whether it was gout or something. Um, it hasn't gotten any worse for many, many months. In fact, it's gotten a little bit better since I've uh, put him in this new cage. Excuse me. You're not coming out. Okay, fine. I guess I'll take you out. But I'm just trying to feed him a more varied diet with eggs, super worms, crickets, everything um, to keep his uh, protein levels up and feeding up as well. Just look how gorgeous he is, though. Like, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Hopefully he'll stay there for the rest of the time. If not, I'll have to stop and put him back, but that's okay. All right, with that being said, we'll continue on to, um, over here we have Sheldon, the Herman's tortoise. And that looks super duper weird right now. Get over here in the normal light. That light makes you look really weird. Come over here. Come over here. There we go. Now he looks slightly more normal. Look how gorgeous he is. He's such an awesome tortoise. So cool. So chill. Uh, he loves to bite humans, specifically me. Not everyone, just me. He's doing really well. Um, his tank is actually not completely trashed yet. Uh, the ponytail palm managed to survive and one of the parlor palms managed to survive. So next time I go to the greenhouse, I'll probably pick up a couple more of those for him to trash and eat. He does really seem to like them. So uh, yeah, I mean, I might as well provide what he enjoys. Um, I've been tossing around the idea of throwing some isopods and things in here just to do a cleanup crew. I think that would be a good idea. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Watch, he'll probably bite me. See? What a little shithead. Wow, you got a good hold there, buddy. So his cage, once again, well, the crickets are also on top of his cage, but the cage or pen that I have him in is five feet long, two feet front to back, or deep, and then about 14 inches tall, I think, somewhere around there. He's got a bunch of naturalistic soil in there. He's got some live plants. Uh, he's got a heat spot, UVB. He's off to the races, I tell you. And then from there, we can move on to the other critters in the room. Uh, we have the gold dust day geckos in here. And uh, I will be working on a new cage for them because I really do need to separate them. Or maybe not even a new cage and just start separating them. Because you can see there are starting to be um, a couple little bite marks and some scuffs and scratches and stuff on some of these guys. So... They are starting to get a little territorial with each other, and uh, I should start to move them here in the next couple weeks. Uh, I know I have one subscriber that was interested that lives in Calgary. Um, if not, I will just have to separate them, and uh, I'll put the other ones in a tank over here that has, um, well, right now it has a dart frog in here. But I'm actually going to be giving that to one of my friends because he has a couple of my other babies that I have of the gender baby Lucamellus. And he will definitely take good care of them. So I might rig up this tank here to uh, house a couple of those guys or even just one of them. I'm not sure uh, what the situation with those are going to be. But I still love the gold dust egg echoes. They're still doing really well. And... Um, as you can see, there are super inquisitive little creatures. They do know when I'm around. They can tell. They uh, love to be hand-fed. I actually do hand-feed these guys with crickets. So, um, they're really, really, really cool. And that's Felsuma laticata. Keeping with the reptile theme, we'll move on to Tig here. Um, don't think that is a piece of poop. That is a piece of Arcadia food that I just threw into her bowl so that if she wanted it, she could eat it. Unfortunately, I do not see her, but I will give you a nice shot of her tank. Her tank is starting to grow in really nicely. These 
uh, snake plants are growing super, super tall uh, and then folding over. So they are starting to shield some of the light, which is kind of nice. Um, this alocasia actually died back and is now starting to grow once again. And then the little uh, ficus elastica in the back there uh, is relatively new, but uh, it's starting to grow a little bit as well. She's probably hauled up in these little bundle of fake leaves there. That's okay. She's still doing really well. Uh, I do have a picture I'll post on Instagram here in the next couple days, so you guys should be able to see that. And the final reptile is something that you guys probably have seen the video of, but it is Bane in his new pimp enclosure. Um, you can see here just how crazy his new tank is. I think it turned out super, super well. Um, unfortunately, he hasn't been out for the last couple days. Um, he hides in that piece of cork bark back there. That's the one that I actually moved from his old enclosure into here. And he really hasn't left it for a while. Uh, I know he's been eating though, because there is some of the media gone. And I, I mean, I guess that's really all I can ask for, right? Like if he's eating and he's happy, then that works for me. Uh, the next improvement I'm going to make to this cage is actually getting a glass top, a custom glass top. This Exoterra mesh top actually lets out a ton, well, all the humidity. And uh, I'm going to get a custom glass top. I'm going to make a mesh, uh, I guess, insert. And then I'm going to have the UVB panel on that mesh. I think it'll look really cool. I'm pretty stoked. I have messaged my buddy for the glass already. And hopefully it will be here in the next week or two. Unfortunately, I can't show you Bane. I can just show you his pimp setup. Uh, I will be doing an update on him and uh, kind of like a cage breakdown video. So if you guys are interested in that, again, let me know in the comment section. Some live plants, which people always say can't be done with lychees, but so far so good. I guess right now I can update you guys on the fish tank. Here you guys can see it. Um, I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on it just because um, I will be making a full update of this tank and kind of a review as well uh, in the near future here. So if you're interested in fish tanks and stuff, definitely stay tuned to the channel. But with that being said, we can move on to the dart frogs. Uh, this will just be kind of a whirlwind tour of dart frogs. We have Azurius Tinctorius. Well, Tinctorius Azurius, beautiful frogs. One of the best beginner frogs that you guys can have. Uh, these are babies that I've raised up on my own and they're in the line of being upgraded as well. <laughs> and here we have the Ufaga Pumilio Almirante. Their tank is looking pretty decent, if I'm just being honest. Of course, none of them are out, but you know, that's okay. For the longest time, I said I'm just going to rip this whole thing apart and redo it all. I don't know if that's the case anymore because I'm actually starting to like the tank. But uh, I know at some point, like, they'll probably be the last ones in the line for a new tank. Total side note, the next one will be Striker being upgraded. Then after that, it will be the Day Geckos. Um, you guys might be actually... He was shaking his tail. Little bastard. Uh, then the day geckos will be upgraded and moved out and then um, it will be those guys and then it will be those guys so everybody else is in pretty much their updated enclosure uh, I might upgrade Dixon the Europlatus gecko in the future but uh, I mean I'm not in too much of a hurry um, just because I don't have any females yet. So this tank here is the Dendrobates Aratus. If you guys follow me on Instagram, shameless plug, you guys can check it out. Um, I posted a picture of this and people really seem to like this tank. This was actually the $150 budget build that I made. And I actually do plan to make a video uh, updating this tank as well. Just what's happened, my experiences with it. If I do it again, that kind of deal. I think that would be awesome because this whole tank costed me $150 to set up. Of course, the frogs aren't visible, but that's because they're erratus and they hate everything. This tank I've kind of updated you guys on already. This is the um, Dendrobates Leucomelos tank. This is just kind of like my plant sanctuary at the moment. Uh, we have some nice begonia there, um, some oak leaf figs, some 
uh, long selaginella. Uh, we got a bunch of different random plants in here that I'm just trying to grow out, and there is a dart frog in here as well. But like I said, he'll be moving to a new home in on Friday. Actually, you guys will not see him anymore. Um, I do have a couple pictures that I can post to Instagram though. That wraps up the video everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this March reptile room tour. If you like this video, drop a like down below. If you want to see more of my content, you want to see fish, frogs, reptiles, plants even, then definitely click that subscribe button. Play Ding Dong Nicks with the doorbell next to it. That will let you know when I make a new YouTube video as well as when I go live. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, make sure you leave them in the comment section. And uh, we'll see you later. Oh, shameless plug. Make sure you get one of these shirts, too. Now, with that being said, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.